Hi guys. Um, so it's just me. Um, like 11, 12, 13 more days. 12 maybe. 12 more days until university starts. I'm going to my third year at Waterloo in honors kinesiology. Um, not much else to say about that. I haven't started any of my courses, so I don't know how they are. Um, I think a few of you asked some questions. Let me see if I have them here. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Oh, what is the best gym at Waterloo? Um, so first year I always went to PAC because I didn't really know it was CIF and like I thought it was like just like guys and um, that like it was just like a muscle gym I don't know like weights not a lot of cardio stuff and all that so I never went and then um, like I had a class there first year um, it was for Kin 140 maybe it was second year I'm not sure I think it was second year maybe no, it was first year. Um, it was a really great lab, so if you guys want to take it or you don't know about it, um, it's Kin 140L. It's a 0.25 credit, um, no exam. You literally just have to go to class. So easy. Um, it's a pass or fail class, so you don't get a mark for it. So kind of win lose situation. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Um, so. I would say CAF is the best gym. Um, they have tons of elliptical machines, treadmills. They also recently got a stair climber thing, like the stair stepper or whatever you call it. I haven't tried that out yet. Uh, next time, that's what I want to do. They don't have a very large amount of room for like plyometric exercises. Um, yeah, I don't mind it though. I like the feel of the gym like it's really open and um the people are always really nice and the staff there is really great so i would recommend it um another person asked jd ferret asked um what is it like living in water that's a town um and is it like a nice size or is it too small um i definitely don't think it's too small when you're in university like it feels like like when you're at waterloo feels like you are in like your own kind of community which is like really cool um like when I first started school like I didn't even explore Waterloo because like the university is so big that it feels like it's like a town or city on its own um there's so many people and yeah uh second year I explored Waterloo a little more and this year I've really gone out and went to parks and the malls and all kinds of stuff um so yeah I like Waterloo I wouldn't live here after university but if you're a university student, it's definitely worth it. Um, you also get a lot of discounts at the grocery stores, like Sobeys and Zayers. I know do like 10% or 15% discounts um, on certain days for students, which is really great because obviously when you're in university, you probably don't have that much money. Um, do I call it home? I wouldn't say I called it home until this summer because um, I didn't move back to my normal home this summer in April after my exams finished. Uh, me and my best friend, we actually rented this apartment and we decided that we really like it and that we didn't want to go back home and kind of relive this process all over again. And I can't stay at home because, like, I'll fight with my mom over the stupidest thing. So, yeah, that's his home now, I guess. Um, but I only have two more years, so we'll see. Um, yeah, chemical engineering, the students said they're going into, so... Um, I have one friend who was in chemical engineering and they loved it. Um, you have to be really smart, obviously, but yeah, I'm sure if you got into that program, you were very smart. Side note, um, I went to the mall today because I haven't gone to the mall in forever and I wanted to go get something like a cute outfit for first day back to school. So I'm going to show you because I'm bored. And I'm waiting for my chicken to thaw so I can make lunch. So I got this top and it's like sheer, it's really cool. Um, and it goes like lower the back, which I really like because then it covers your butt. Um, and I got the cutest shoes ever. Okay, you can't really see them, but they're Moxa boots and I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I was supposed to go get exercise clothes, but then I was like, 
you know what, I can just use what I have because I really want these boots. They were on sale from like 99 to 69 and then the next time I spend like $29 I get 30 off. So like it's like free and long so I'm not going to get something for 29 at Sockmock but whatever. $30 off the next pair of shoes isn't bad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go because this is very silly. Uh, I'm looking for my textbooks now. Um, those of you who are coming to university or have never heard of this, if you go to Facebook, type in UW Textbook Exchange, all of the students kind of put post like what they're selling and what they need to buy. Um, and that's like way cheaper than going to the bookstore. I would honestly like, I probably, the only thing I buy from the bookstore is my lab books because I can't get those anywhere else and they have to be new. Usually, um, but seriously, don't go to the bookstore and pay top price for a textbook when you can get it used in the same condition and not spend that much money. So, yeah, don't do that. Another thing is you could check Kijiji, um, and if you want just a little bit less, like Amazon has some things that are cheaper, not very much that I've found for my courses at least. I find that there's a lot of courses or books for like geography and environment, stuff like that. AFM. Um, the kin books are kind of hard to find sometimes. So, yeah. I'm gonna go now. No, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. Um, leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to talk about something, like, before school starts. If you're curious about anything, I lived on residence first year. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I think it would be over there. <laughs> um, subscribe to my channel because, obviously, I love you guys and I would like some subscribers. And for you guys to comment because that gives me stuff to talk about. Bye, guys.